Hollow's End is right around the corner, starting on October 18th, lasting until November 1st. So you've got two weeks to get all the amazing Hollow's End items. <laughs> To get started, you can pick up the quest, the Headless Horseman from either the Masked Orphan Matron in Razor Hill if you're Horde, or the Costumed Orphan Matron in Goldshire if you are Alliance. Similar to the Brewfast boss summon, you can only summon the Headless Horseman once a day. You'll get five attempts each day, assuming each group member has their quest available. Once you arrive at the Scarlet Monastery Graveyard, you can now summon the Headless Horseman. <laughs> The Headless Horseman has three phases. Phase 1 is a tank and spank, and upon reaching 1% health, his head flies off and you need to DPS it down to 65% health fast in order to enter Phase 2. If you don't do it fast enough, you'll have to do Phase 1 again. Phase 2 is like Phase 1, but now he has Conflagrate. It does 5 ticks of 10% of the life of the target in damage to a random target and everyone close to the target, so spread during this phase. Once again, when he's down to 1%, his head will fly off, and you'll need to get it down to 30% to enter Phase 3. Now in Phase 3, he gains another ability to summon 4 Gordian minions. These don't do a lot of damage, so if you have big DPS, you can ignore them and just burn him down. But if you take too long, he'll summon another set of 4, and you could get squashed. Once he reaches 1%, his head flies off again, kill it, and pray that your loot drops. This end have I reached before. What new adventure lies in store? The Headless Horseman drops these items. The Horseman's Helm is a nice plate helm with a nice 30 second cooldown emote. It's kind of fun. There's also three epic rings, which are powerful for casters, healers, and range slash melee DPS. And my favorite pet in the game, the Sinister Squashling, also drops. And the Hollowed Helm and the incredibly rare Horseman's Reins also drop. This mount is a regular and epic and ground mount. It's everything. It's everything you've ever wanted. The Horseman's Blade also drops, and it's the exact same as Spite Blade, except you can also summon Pumpkin Soldiers from the Horseman's Blade, but the big downside is that it is a main hand weapon, so you can't use it with weapons like Dragon Maw, which are also main hand. There are also consumable and seasonal items that disappear at the end of Hollow's End that drop off the Headless Horseman like the Magic Brooms and the Weighted jack o lantern These are the drop chances of everything he can drop. During this event, there will also be two new bags, the Pumpkin Bag, a 16-slot bag, and the Jack-O-Lantern, which is an 18-slot bag, which will only drop during the Hollows End event. The Jack-O-Lantern is an 18-slot bag, which drops from all mobs level 60+, plus, and it has a pretty low drop rate, and the Pumpkin Bag drops off all mobs level 50+. Plus. Hallow's End wouldn't be complete without trick-or-treating. You can either get a treat ranging from masks, magic wands, or candy, which restore a percentage of your health, so it's actually useful at any level, or you can get tricked, being turned into a frog, snake, ghost, skeleton. You get the idea. You can also grab handfuls of candy from candy buckets you find everywhere, or do one of the many seasonal quests, such as Hollow's End Treats for Jesper or Spoops, depending on your faction. To do this quest, you'll need to gather treats by doing different emotes at four major cities, chicken clucking for a mint, dancing for marzipan, flexing for a nougat, and incoming gumdrop. There's also quests for putting out fires, placing eggs in brew, cleaning up stink bombs, or crashing the Wickerman Festival. The rewards for each of these quests are Hollow's End Pumpkin Treats. These treats are actually kind of nifty, transforming you into a skeleton that can breathe underwater, a pirate that can swim 50% faster, a ghost that has levitate, slow fall, and water walking, or even a another one that makes you larger and oranger, which gives you a 5% chance on getting hit to cause hollows and fright, which slows attacks by 25% and reduces movement speed by 30% to the attacker. Very nice. Now, the last big part of Hollow's End is the Wickerman Ceremony going on outside of the Undercity. Horde players can go there and loot a Wickerman Ember after 8pm server time, which grants Invocation of the Wickerman, which increases health and mana regeneration by 25% and stamina by 25%. Pretty awesome buff. For Alliance to get this buff, they'll need to kill a Wickerman Guardian. These are level 60 elites. If you're ranged, you can kite them to a log about 20 meters south of the Wickerman, where you can then jump on and off the log to kill them easily. And that is the story of Hollow's End.